In this video, we're going to look at the notion of a binary operation on a set S. So, given a set S, a binary operation is a function from S cross S to S. So, binary means there's two copies of S here, and we're thinking about combining an element from each of those copies of S to produce a new element from S. So we'll write it like this. Star is a function from S cross S to S. But in general, we usually write instead of star of A, B, we'll write A star B. And so um, in addition, we say that it is associative if it doesn't matter how we do grouping. So in other words, A star the quantity B star C is the same thing as the quantity A star B star C. And then we say that it's commutative if A star B equals B star A. Okay, so let's look at some examples. So let's say our set is the natural numbers and our operation is addition. And so, in other words, we have just like normal addition. So for example, 3 plus 5 equals 8. So notice that this is associative and it's commutative. Now notice I haven't said that there needs to be anything like an identity or inverses or whatever and in fact in the natural numbers there is no identity because there's no zero and there are no inverses because there are no negative numbers. But if we expand this a little bit to the integers um, with addition, we do have associativity, so it's associative, it is commutative, and then we also have inverses and an identity and stuff like that. So let's look at some more. So maybe for our third example, let's say we have um, n by n matrices with entries in the real numbers. So let's write that. So this is all n by n matrices with entries in R. And let's say our operation is matrix multiplication in this case. So I'll just write that by star equals um, matrix multiplication. Okay, so now in this case, it is still associative. But uh, it's kind of well known that this is non-commutative. So this is an example of um, an operation that is associative but not commutative. But now, let's look at another example here. Let's say star is redefined instead of being matrix multiplication. Let's say it is the commutator. And so what I mean by that, A star B in this case is the commutator of A and B. In other words, it's A, B minus B, A, where the A, B, and the B, A are just normal matrix multiplication. And now you can check that this is, in fact, non-associative and also non-commutative. So it's easy to find an example of an operation that is associative and commutative, associative and non-commutative, and non-associative and non-commutative. And in fact, there's another example of this third case down here. We could also have something that's non-associative and non-commutative given by R3. So in other words, three-dimensional uh, matrices in with entries in R, sorry, three-dimensional vectors with entries in R, and then the normal cross product. So, so that's non-associative and non-commutative. Okay, so this is a stepping stone onto uh, defining something called a group, which will happen in the next video. And so we're all set here.